And this one is gonna be a banger because uh, I got this little whiteboard here. And uh, anyway, but yeah, comment something below so everyone can see this in the group. Sorry that um, hopefully this is up. I can't see the camera right now, so hopefully uh, I look okay. Uh, sorry that I look like garbage. It's Sunday morning. It's a rainy day in San Diego. That never happens. Uh, but in this video is going to be my journey from, and by the way, let me actually start a little timer here. I'm going to try to keep this. And I know, I know what you guys are thinking, Ravi, are you going to really, I'm going to try to keep this under 10 minutes. Okay. I know. Shocker. I'm going to tell you how I make $400,000 a month plus under 10 minutes. Okay. So let's dive right into Sha. Uh, so, okay. First of all, by the way, drop your questions down below. Uh, I'm going to answer your questions at the end of this. So this is for you guys. You guys requested this and we all know I am a man that delivers. Okay. Um, so let's rock and roll. And I'm going to break these down a little bit more. So, um, the way I see my revenue path and like my journey in business kind of can bro be broken down to this, right? So zero to 10 K you're here, 10 to hundred K you're here, hundred to 200 K here. 200 to 400 K here, 400 K here. And this is all a month, by the way, um, in case you were curious. So each one of these is a month. So zero to 10 K up to $400,000 plus a month, which is where I'm currently at. Well, we're at about 430 K a month. Um, but that varies. We kind of do drop below that sometimes. So, uh, these are the different steps that I've taken in order to get there. Um, and I'm going to break it down more in order, but if you guys have noticed, this is kind of like, I don't know if you guys have heard of Maslow's, uh, hierarchy of needs. And that's honestly what I see um, this being like for a lot of people. That's why I see businesses like, and I'm going to go more in depth, but it's like, this is the bottom, you're just trying to get by. And this is like, you're at the very, very top. And you're trying to decide not the very, very top, obviously, but you're trying to decide uh, what the next move should be. So let's talk about um, zero to uh, 10k. Zero to 10K could be what a lot of people here are on or not on. By the way, drop down questions below if you guys have it. Zero to 10K could be something that you guys are experiencing. Maybe you're past that step, but this is what it was like to me. Zero to 10K was literally the hustle, the grind, right? It was like, I need to wake up every single day and I need to work as much as humanly possible, 12, 14, 15 hour days. I need to be calling all my friends and family. I need to be going to in-person events. I need to be figuring out what, like that was literally when I was the most involved in my business, inside of my business, not on my business, but inside of my business. Uh, I was like just doing things every single day to generate momentum and revenue for my company. Um, and it was really difficult, honestly, and it was really hard. And I think that the zero to 10K a month mark is where so many people spend so much time because it does take the most effort. If you've heard the saying, it's easier at the top, the truth is it really is easier at the top. It's like easier once you get past that point, but so much like blood and sweat equity has to go at the very bottom level of it that, um, that most people just aren't willing to do it. They're not willing to go through all the pain and problems and issues and rejection in order to get to the next level, which would be like the 10 to hundred K a month mark, which I'll get in a second. So, um, a zero to 10 K was legitimately just like outreach outflow equals inflow. So it was just like, how many, I didn't have ads on. I didn't have anything. It was just like, how many people can I talk to? I need to figure out what my business is like. I need to figure out what delivers results for my clients. I need to systemize and productize the back end. But even all that stuff wasn't really happening. It was legitimately just like anybody that had a, a pulse and they had a credit card, I was going out and I was asking them for their business. So like, if you think of Mavlov's hierarchy of needs, like the bottom level, it's like survival, right? Food, shelter, that kind of stuff. Like that's what zero to 10 K a month is. Like you can't think about creating Facebook ads for yourself because you don't know if your business is going to be here in two weeks. Like you can't think about productizing the back end because you don't know if you're going to have clients to productize the back end for. So that's why in the beginning, it's super important to, um, to just literally put the legwork in the first few months. It could be 10 days, it could be 30 days, it could be, for me, it was six months in order to get to that point. But you have to continue to do it because if you just don't, then don't be surprised when you don't get the results that, um, uh, that everybody else has or that you want, right? Because the majority of people are just gonna stay in that one little block and they're not gonna grow from there because they're not willing to go through the shit. But let's talk about what happens if you go for the shit. If you go through the shit, then you get to this magical little stage here, which is the 10 to $100,000 a month mark. Uh, this is when stuff gets a little bit more fun. This is when you start figuring out, okay, 
I should probably start niching down at this point, right? What's my offer? What's my industry? Who am I going after, right? Uh, you figure out in that first zero to 10K, who did you like working with? Who did you not like working with? You're kind of retracing your steps a little bit here. Who was it easy to get to the decision maker? Who was it easy to close? Who did you hate uh, trying to go through the decision maker or trying to go through the gatekeeper? Who did you hate close or who did you not be able to close? Um, that's when you get to start deciding your industry and then you decide what's the back end product or offer, right? What is the thing that's getting the results? The zero to 10K level, you're like, okay, I just need to do Facebook ads and chatbot and posting, whatever they said that they wanted from you, you were like, yeah, I'll deliver it, just please pay this bill, right? Uh, 10 to 100K, you're more, you have a little more com comfortability, like you're not crazy, but you have a little more comfortability to where you can be like, no, we actually only do Facebook ads or we only do click funnels or we only work with luxury clients or whatever it is, right? Whatever your industry is. I only do health insurance for this type of niche, these types of people, whatever it is, right? You can start being a little more selective with it. Um, and because you're able to do that, then you're able to systemize your business to the point that you're starting to remove yourself from it. So 10 to 100K, I usually see you have the lead generation taken care of. <clears throat> so you have somebody working on the lead gen part, whether it's Facebook ads, whether it's a virtual assistant, whether it's a referral partner or some combination of the three, right? Uh, you have the lead generation side taken care of. You most likely, if you're smart, will start, the, 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 you're probably still doing it yourself, but you're start gonna have the back end taken care of, the fulfillment side. So maybe it's hiring a buyer's agent to show the listings for you. Maybe it's having a virtual assistant do the Facebook ads, a white label ads agency or SEO or website development to actually do the back end fulfillment work. Um, whatever else it is, right? You can imagine you're not having to do, whenever you sign a client, you're not having to be involved with the actual delivery of that product. Um, and then the next step above that is going to be, uh, you're in the middle part. So fulfillment's done on the front end by the VA and Facebook ads, the back end, you're starting to figure out the productized system and having either your team member or a virtual assistant or somebody do the back end, and you're just doing sales and account management. That's all you're doing. That's, and that's all I was doing as well. It was literally just like, all I was doing is getting on sales calls all day long. And I was handling any clients, complaints, questions, anything like that. Um, by the way, drop your questions down below. I'm once again, I'm running through this cause I'm trying to do this in less than 10 minutes cause I don't want to keep you guys in, uh, attention. So that's pretty much the 10 to hundred K mark. That's when you're like a little more comfortable inside a business. I mean, you're not good doing crazy stuff right now, but you are to the point that you can start looking a little bit more towards the future and hiring key team members, which is going to bring me to the hundred to 200 K a month mark. Um, this one's where things start getting a little trickier. This is when I think something called complexity creep, which I talk about all the time, starts uh, creeping up in here as well. So it's like, you know, when you're at 100 to 200K, people are like, oh, you need to start starting, you need to start this business. You need to start that business. You need to start creating passive income streams. You need to start uh, doing ATMs. You need to buy an Amazon store. Uh, you need to start offering YouTube ads to your clients. You need to start uh, working in different industries or niches. Like this, you're at this level that like, You've done everything up to the point, everything's working, but if you haven't noticed yet, your brain likes to really fuck with you. And it makes you think that when things are going well, you need to change stuff up, right? Uh, because when things are going well, it also means that you're consistently and always doing uncomfortable stuff. That's the only way things will go well. And uh, your brain doesn't like that. So it's gonna try to convince you to stop doing that uncomfortable stuff. Um, and the truth of the matter is like, it's almost like your brain wants you to fail. So you go back to that safe place that you were at before. Uh, which is ironic, right? But to the 100 to 200K on the mark, that's when all that stuff comes up and you just have to literally, you have to push it, you have to suppress down on the complexity group and you have to continuously ask yourself, what did I do in the last 30 days, the 60 days, the last 90 days to get me to where I am now? It's not, if I didn't have YouTube ads for my clients before and words, we did great, we had a 70% retention and we uh, closed a hundred thousand dollars. Like, why am I should I add YouTube ads right now? That's not going to do anything, but make stuff more confusing, both on the pitching side and the fulfillment side uh, for working with your clients. And so, like, you have to realize and identify those things, and you just have to suppress them down. Because in reality, people are forgetting. Like, once you get, I think, like, in these two spots right here, these two spots right here, it's literally like hustle grind time, right? It's a combination of hustle grinding systems. But once you get above that, um, there's one factor that nobody talks about. It's called time, T-I-M-E, right? Everyone wants to go from 
hundred K to a million a month, myself included, uh, in a very short amount of time. But in reality, like you just have to start building a brand around who you are and where you're at and what you offer. You need to start uh, becoming an authority in your industry and you need to start having enough clients that people start talking about you and you're like a name, a household brand. And that doesn't happen no matter how much advertising spend you push at something, some things take some time. And so zero to 100K, you can do that very quickly. That doesn't actually take a whole lot of time. But 100K plus a month, that stuff does start taking time. And this is not something that I'm telling you guys. This is something that my mentors have told me as well. Like, you know, I'm like, I want to get, and like I had a call the other day with one of my mentors and he's like, look, man, you're doing everything 100% correct. Like you're comparing yourself to people that have been in this game for five years and you've been in this game for two years, really only making money for a year and a half. So like, you know, I'm not making excuses here, but I also have to continuously remind myself that like above $100,000 a month to get past that, it's gonna be a combination of a few things, but one of the biggest key factors that people forget is time. Doing the right stuff for the long enough period of time, okay? Uh, and so from 100 to 200K a month, that is when you're suppressing against the bullshit, you're staying focused on the stuff that is working, you're not starting other businesses, you're not starting other ventures, whatever it is, you're staying very, very focused. Um, and you're building up your company, and this is when you buy, you hire the account managers, this is when you hire the sales guys, and this is when you hire like chief operating officers, C-level executives, so that you pretty much the day-to-day -day operations, almost 95% of your company will run totally and fully without you. Um, and then you get to the 200 to 400K and 400K plus mark. And let me see what I'm doing on time here. Oh, 10 minutes and 34 seconds, okay. <laughs> uh, so for the 200K plus mark, like this is when stuff comes about that you hear other people talk about. This is when I would consider starting another. So I didn't start scaling with systems until after my advertising agency was doing $220,000 a month um, consistently for over three months. Um, once my advertising agency started doing that, that allowed me uh, to have enough cash in my bank that I was allowed to try other uh, offers and businesses out without worrying about me going poor, me going broke, whatever it is. Um, and I was still heavily investing back inside of my advertising agency as well. So like 200K plus a month, that's when you start dabbling with other, maybe another offer, right? So maybe you've been running that same offer up until you know the 200K a month, let's say it took you a year to get there. Um, and once you get there, it could be that your offer is starting to get a little exhaustive in your industry. And that's when you can start switching stuff up. So instead of just having one thing, you add one little thing on top of it. So not just Facebook ads, but Facebook ads and an ISA, or not just Facebook ads and an ISA, but Facebook ads and an ISA and YouTube ads on top of it as well. Maybe some mix inside of it. So your offer might start getting exhaustive in your market. So you have to think about switching that up a little bit. And then you can start thinking about adding other businesses, uh, other partnerships, things like that. And that's really, for me, the 200 to 400K was this. It was obviously starting scaling with systems. Um, you know, that matches the, the revenue of my advertising agent. And the cool thing is, guys, listen to this. This is actually, people don't realize this. What I did in my advertising agent that took me almost 14 months to create, the monthly revenue up to 14 months it took me to get above $200,000 a month, we did in 60 days with scaling with systems. Two months, literally one 14th of the time, one tenth of the time it took me to create the revenue. And it was because I waited until I was far enough along the journey that I knew everything that could go right, I knew everything that could go wrong. I built a brand and awareness around my name that whenever we launched something new, it was just like, boom, we were putting money at that point. But if you do it too early, you know, there's an old Chinese saying, he who chases two rabbits catches none. So that's why the majority of time I see people at any point of this little pyramid, they're, they're not having success is because they lack focus. So you have to kind of focus on what's the most important thing to you. Um, and for me, it was my advertising agency because that was kind of making me money. And then once we were at 200K a month and I was totally removed from the whole process, everything A to Z, sales team, account managers, COO, um, I had uh, ads managers, we had the VAs running it. I was literally didn't, I could have gone and left. I went to Columbia for three months and that's when I created Scaling With Systems. Um, and so that's when you're going to have to be at. And then, you know, Scaling With Systems, like I said, we did up to 200K in the first 60 days a month. Um, and so that's what you kind of got to realize as well. And then 400K plus a month. So that's like when stuff gets a little, I, I can't answer you guys that question of that. We're on the race right now to a million a month, but you know, that's when we start transitioning away from lower partnerships, lower ticket items. So like we're transitioning away from $2,500 a month to working with big, big clients that want to do one, two, three hundred thousand dollars every single month. Um, and that's like when I realized that volume is not the route I want to go at this point. I built enough energy. I built enough like authority in the industry. I built enough uh, success in the past that I can start approaching bigger dogs 
both in scaling with systems, working with like Fortune 500 companies, as well as advertising, working with like large, large, large lead companies, giving them leads and selling them at the $100,000, $300,000 a month pop each person. Um, and that's when you, but you have to, there's a reason why it goes in order, right? Um, and there's obviously drawbacks for all that stuff as well. But um, yeah, so that's literally the journey of like, and the mindset, just so we can kind of get clear here, zero to 10K was like grind hustle. I don't, like you don't need anybody else. You just need to prove a concept and you need to prove that you're willing to be an entrepreneur. So you're willing to take the shit and get the stuff done. 10 to 100K is like, you're starting to become a business owner. Uh, you're starting to figure out um, like, okay, I need to have team members. I need to start having systems in place. And you're starting to productize the back end so that you can take on 10 clients in a week and you don't have to worry about any of that being delivered. You're not delivering it yourself and you don't have any slowdown um 100 to 200k is when like you're just like staying it's just like time is spent staying focused on the stuff that is working and pushing against the people that are telling you you need to start a new business you need to have new offers you need to have new softwares you need to use this new advertising route whatever it is like you just need to 10x the stuff that you were doing before so your time is spent reviewing all the stuff that you were doing to get to that point and then just figuring out what worked the best and that's where the tracking numbers come from and scaling that up uh then 200k plus is like getting rid of low ticket offers low ticket products uh in my opinion this is my experience uh we're trying to shift to clients that are doing multiple six figures a month with you um and then starting maybe other companies that are generating new cash that you can scale very very quickly uh, and then really strong referral partnerships joint ventures stuff like that so that's everything A to Z. If you guys have any questions, you can drop it down below here and I'll answer them really quickly. Um, but I hope this is valuable to you. If you guys are watching this and you're in my program, you know, comment down below what questions you have and I'll answer it after the fact. Also comment down below what other stuff you guys want me to see. Um, you want me to, you want to see me talk about as well. If you're watching this on YouTube or another platform, you know, make sure you subscribe. If you're in the funnel thinking of working with me and you haven't, click the button below, but a book time with our team will show you how you can do this a lot more in depth. But this is something that my inner circle kind of requested from me, so I wanted to do it. But if anybody has any questions, I don't, I don't see any questions on here, so I'm gonna kind of rock and roll and wrap this up here so I can get back to work on this beautiful sunny, sunny, sunny day in San Diego. Um,